I'm going to take you through data entry for the progress monitoring of students in the Dibble system. Once you've selected your students that will be progress monitored in your class, go to the Dibble's homepage, enter your username and password, and click Login. From that point, go up to the top of the screen, find the green bar, and click on Data Entry. Choose your second choice, Dibble's Progress Monitoring Data, and follow the pull-downs to select your school and your grade and your grade level. The grade level is the type of monitoring you will be doing. Almost everybody should select grade level type of monitoring. It is only those students who have received 85% or lower on the accuracy portion of the benchmark test that will be monitored out of grade level. At that point, you will need to test back to see what subskill you will need to begin your progress monitoring. Hit Continue and select the period beginning, middle, end, or summer. And your addition in East Providence, we use Dibbles Next. If you scroll down on your page, you will see those students that you have already enabled the progress monitoring for. They are listed on the left. The computer doesn't know what subskill you will be progress monitoring. Therefore, it lists each possible subtest you are giving. The phoneme segmentation fluency, nonsense word fluency, both whole words read and the separate sounds, and your oral reading fluency, which includes the accuracy, the fluency, and the retail portions. You are only progress monitoring in one of these areas. If you are giving either the phoneme seg or the nonsense word fluency, just enter their scores under the correct week that you've given the progress monitoring test, and then scroll down and hit Submit Progress Monitoring Scores. If you're progress monitoring in either accuracy, fluency, or the retells of the Dibbles Oral Reading Fluency, you will need to enter all three parts of that. You will look at the part of the graph, however, that you are focusing on for that particular subskill. This has been how to enter your progress monitoring data on the Dibbles website.